Okay guys, so here we go. I am going to demo that shelf here um, in the bedroom and I've never actually demoed anything before so I'm not sure. I got a sledgehammer and I think I'm just gonna start knocking away at it and I hope that those things, lights, aren't electrically hardwired in. Do you think they're on battery? Ooh. Wish me luck. <laughs> my husband for help because I have no effing idea how this thing is up there I don't see like screws or anything so I'm not sure what piece I'm supposed to attack first I mean it's wedged in there okay so that was way 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 harder than I expected I actually didn't do any of the demo and um, my husband did everything so he lifted it up with the screwdriver to figure out where the nails and the connections were. And then from there, he saw the wiring, which he was not happy about. Mm. And then everything was like screwed in majorly. There was no way that that stupid ledge that I was hitting with a sledgehammer was gonna come out. Like, it was not gonna come out in that fashion at all. So this is the wallpaper that I chose. And I like it because it has a lot of white um, with a really cool like geometric black um, line in it. Hoping that um, that this white wallpaper and I'm gonna have to unfortunately go all the way up the ceiling because that wallpaper goes all the way up there. So I'm gonna do that in all wallpaper. And then this side of the bedroom, I'm going to paint white. Um, I was trying to avoid painting, but I'm gonna paint it white just because that part of the wall connects to my kitchen. And the kitchen, I put up that new backsplash and it just doesn't look right with the brown and eventually I'll change those stupid ugly cupboards. Okay, WTF, because I could have swore when I ordered this wallpaper on Amazon that it was peel and stick. And it is not peel and stick because it tells me that I have to use a freaking adhesive. So I sh guess I should have read more reviews because somebody in the review surely would have said that it's not peel and stick. And if they didn't, then I'm definitely gonna say it in my review because I was not ready to buy adhesive and even try to figure out how to work with it. So it's like a maybe close to nine o'clock tonight and I am now spackling um, the holes. I taped everything off just because of the way that our kitchen is connected to the bedroom. I have to kind of do it all at once. So everything is taped off. I'm speckling all the holes because I've taken down the blinds and the valances and all that stuff. Um, and then I have to decide, am I gonna paint first or wallpaper first? Which is the worst of the evils? frustrated with the whole situation um, the wallpaper needing to use adhesive the shelf not coming down like I wanted and then I hate 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 taping off for paint um, but I know that paint is necessary to finish off the kitchen and this part of the room so I taped off recruited my husband to start priming and then I did the adhesive and the wallpaper. The problem is that our wall, um, it, 
it extends all the way to the ceiling. So I had to do the ceiling down um, over the bed, which is curved, and it has a few, um, uh, I don't know what you call them, seams, I guess. Hmm. I don't know I'll show you but anyways it was difficult to get the paper um, clean and stuck because the seam was on both the top and the bottom so when I would make the top tight and then go to do the bottom the bottom would become loose or the top would become loose and vice versa and it drove me absolutely insane we were out here until about midnight last night um, trying to do as much as we could and then hopefully I can finish the rest of it today we still will have the exposed wires and my husband bought stuff to fix that and hopefully we can get it done okay so here we go I've gotten almost all of the wall done this part here I had a hell of a time trying to figure out the pattern um, lineup and I'm down to like scraps on the wallpaper but I think it looks really good it definitely brightens up the space and then we have now two coats of primer on the um, walls and I think they look pretty even so we're gonna go ahead and start actually painting a little tip so my husband does these things and like I didn't know that that's what you're supposed to do but if you put that little lip thing on the edge of the paint tin your brush doesn't fall what the heck I'm always like struggling to put the brush a certain way so that it doesn't fall into the paint and apparently somebody else already thought of a way to fix it so we still need to do the wiring and putting up the shelves, but oh my god, look at this. I, we need to put up the, the closet door also, but oh my god, I love it so much. If you want to do something like this, I suggest really like figuring out how you're supposed to do this stuff instead of just coming in here with a sledgehammer and thinking you're just gonna knock shit down because it's not really the way that it works. So hopefully you can figure it out or you have somebody at home who's gonna help you figure it out. Thankfully I have my husband. <laughs> 